And at that moment, it all came crashing down. The monster we tempted lashed out. Maria, behind you! Join! Grab the canoe, grab the canoe! John! Shit! John! Get out from under there, Maria! All right, take two. Are you paddling? Hey, what happened? Prophet's canoe flipped. What? Prophet flipped! You have the idea. You have no idea how you're going to realize this artistic vision, but you just sort of start down that road, and you're, that road may be a false start, and you may have to sort of re-engineer where you're going to get on the correct road that's ultimately gonna lead you towards um, a finished product, but um, you've gotta start somewhere, and you've gotta start trudging forward, and um, see what little uh, helpers in the universe come out along the way, so. I sort of tried to not make the cleanse about the apocalypse. You know, there's a lot of stuff, like every zombie apocalypse thing is all about the end and the people surviving the end. And this is kind of about beyond the end um, and the new beginning. Um, yet there's still echoes of, you know, there's, there's still, you know, little regurgitations of the 21st century as it is today that come in the cleanse and sort of cause the rising action that culminates in the story. Um, so, but it's not about that immediate moment when things fall apart, because that's just a really scary thing, and that's not the story that I wanted to tell. Oh, oh it's a dog? There's a dog. Oh, You've been like wanting to shoot this stupid dog for like months. Uh, so we're about to do an action sequence, uh, and so we're doing a little bit of staging. It's only like 30 seconds maybe of the actual drama, uh, but in order for it to all come together, we have actors who are moving um, into the frame, an actor who is here lying in wait uh, to attack another actor, and then Philip. And so, even though we're not going to be physically uh, smashing anyone, uh, we're going to add all the sounds of blades and knives and guns later uh, by having the physical physicalization of those actors um, jumping in the scene and grabbing another actor. We'll get that raw energy in the performance that's critical towards it all sounding quite authentic. Crap! John, dump the mainsail! Turn hard to starboard! Too late. What? Someone's coming. Mark! Yeah? Bring our guns up instead. You know, it's an adventure story at its heart. It's a it's an epic tale of um, youths who uh, grow up in one world and want to experience another world and get sucked up into what they think is a great adventure, and then turns out to be a very scary thing and causes you know great harm to them and to people around them. Uh, it is Im immensely physically and emotionally trying for these characters, uh, but on the other hand, like any true journey, like any true epic tale, they become more of themselves. They grow a lot through the process of going through this journey. So I felt that if it was, if we took a part in this apocalyptic moment, the, the circumstances of the apocalypse would be so dramatic that you wouldn't really be able to have the, the human story. But if you clear the slate, um, let the world go up in flames, and then let things settle down for 15 years and come back to the world of the cleanse, um, now that things are a bit quieter, we have set up the stage um, for this new drama of these people, of these young people who have grown up in this world. The ultimate thing that I that was came to me when I was 16 that is still in the story now is that it was a gradual collapse. It wasn't just like a, you know, it wasn't an asteroid. That, it didn't take an asteroid to screw us up. We screwed ourselves up. Um, and it wasn't quite the same as, say, um, uh, Alas Babylon or... Uh, or even like the Stephen King's The Stand, where there's like this event that ravages us. It's more like we just keep screwing ourselves up until we totally blow the boat and the whole shithouse goes up in flames. <laughs> That was good.